Hello, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com here, and today we are going to show you how to wire up an electric strike. So the reason that we're doing this video is uh, I've got a buddy who we're automating his entire house here, and uh, somebody's going to install some electric strike equipment for him that connects to a video doorbell. But in general, wanted to know how an electric strike wired up and the basic components of this. So we'll get a little bit better zoom in here, but the, the basic components are, um, you've got just a standard push button here. And what this does is this is going to release the strike. So you can see if I try and open the strike right now, it does not open. When I press the push to exit button, now that opens, the electric strike opens here, okay? so. Very simple operation. I've got this set on a 10 second timer. And actually this controller that we've got here, just this is from Amazon. There are a lot more complicated electric strike setups that you can use, but really this thing does the job unless you're doing it for an industrial commercial installation and residential installation. This thing is gonna give you everything you want and uh, actually has one really cool feature that I like here. It's got a clicker just like you have for your car. And so right now you can see the electric strike is locked, the door will not open. I just press the clicker as I approach or I'm upstairs and there you go, the electric strike opens up. So it really kind of eliminates the need for this button. You can absolutely put this button in if you want, but you can also use the clickers, which I think is a great feature and a lot of people probably want for their electric strikes. So how does this thing wire up? Well, we'll start with where the power comes from. And this is general for any electric strike is that the controller is gonna require power. This particular controller requires 12 volts. This is a 120 to 12 volt transformer, taking 120 volt power, turning it to 12 volts. And that 12 volts then is going to this controller board, which just for the purposes of showing you is uh, I've taken off the actual housing that this goes in. There's two pieces, but this is the controller. It sits like this in here, and then you can mount it on a wall or electric box or whatever you want to do. But the power goes here. You've got 12 volts into the circuit board, and then this electric strike wires a very particular way. So the electric strike itself, since we've got this push button that is going to allow you to open the electric strike or door on the push of a button, like so. It actually has just two contacts here, a uh, positive and a neutral, that just go straight out to the door. And those wire right up on top of the electric strike, so if you were installing this inside of a door frame, you would just run these wires up the door frame and then back to your controller, okay? And this is all low voltage wiring. Now, this particular controller, instead of having the push to exit um, in line, this one has two more contacts for the push to exit button, which makes it really easy. And I don't have to have this wired up for the uh, controller here to still work. So the push to exit's wired up, I press, and now that works, okay? So let's just uh, show you a couple things here. We could actually take this off push the exit button, I've got it screwed on there. So we're not actually gonna take that off because I've got that screwed on there pretty tight. But basically you could remove these two contacts and this thing would still function with the remote control. So overall, I like this electric strike system, a great little system for if you've got a house and a front gate, uh, this is very easy to wire up. You really only have to wire the power supply to the electric strike and then you could use the clickers, which I think is going to get 99% of people what they need for an electric strike. I tested the range of these things. It's about 70 to 100 feet. So this is a pretty strong clicker and then you just put a battery in here when this thing goes dead. You can order more of these. I think they're 20 bucks or so for a clicker, which is actually a great deal when you consider how much it costs for a clicker for your car. So. That is everything that we've got today for wiring up this uh, electric strike. I'll get the zoom in as well. Uh, you should see that in the video here uh, after we get the videos combined. But overall, I like this thing. This is going in the link down below. 
Um, you can find this on Amazon. Like I said, there are hundreds of electric strikes, but this thing for under $100 is going to do the job for most residential applications. So thank you very much. And we always love it when you view the videos like them or visit us at our website, onehoursmarthome.com.